Hey guys, so real quick, we'll just look into how to work with S curves in terms of posing, improving a pose, and how we can use it in body on body mechanics and actually advanced dialogue. So um, this is an animation done with one of the, uh, the guys I'm mentoring. Um, so real quick, you can clearly see her pose is stiff. So how are you going to improve it? Number one, we'll just break the stiffness into a simple S curve. Uh, by moving the, the shoulder, the upper shoulder, and then the hip, hip location, and then supplement it with the feet. As you can clearly see, uh, what I'm drawing, I'm actually working on, is depicting and breaking down the stiffness uh, from her upper chest to her lo lower back. And then, from there, um, how can we improve the pose? Uh, we can improve it in a couple of ways. We can break it down and make her lay on the desk or rather the chair and tilt her head quite well and also uh, maybe give her a phone and some headphones and then the animation will just move the animation uh, on one foot just subtle and a head walk. and then for the camera animation um, we just move it we move it we pan it from the feet up to the head and then zoom out that's it so that is one way on how to improve the stiff animation into a complete complex and stylish animation and then um, from there let's discuss about how to break a pose and how to start a pose so initially we have the head shoulder and uh, hip area so for starters we start when you're posing your pose let's assume that the character is on tables you need to start with your hip bone and then the wrist the shoulder and the head so one, two, and three. And then from there, we supplement it with the legs and the hands and the fingers. Also, we need to also supplement it to the body when it comes to now the face, the facial expression. Uh, you start with the eyes, the eye blink, the eye darts, and then real quick, you do the lip sync. And once you complete the lip sync, and now you start uh, superimposing the emotions. That's it. So when coming to posing a character, look into those uh that hierarchy of uh moving and posing a character from the hip bone the chest the head to the feet or rather the legs and then the arms and then let's look at some samples um so for starters uh let's just look at number one the black and white number two whatever the black and white uh the head from just look the tilting of the head the tilting of the chest to the tilting of the hips so that now she gains balance so even s curves also uh, are used to also actually get balance on your character and let's zoom in to our lady um so she's looking back at us but even though she's looking back at us the head is tilted up and then her body her body shape from the chest or rather the back what we're seeing to the hip bone is it has that s curve and then the hands supplement that, that S curve by actually not being straight, but rather also curved, just like that. Forgive the faintness of my, the overlay, what I'm drawing. Um, then in the next character, uh, so that's the hand. Then on the next character, the S curve is perfectly seen uh, from her head to her chest to her hip bone. And then the hands also the fingers the fingers also just that smooth effect and you're done so um let's skip real quick uh, okay and then let's go to our character next character the same same case uh even though the, the shirt is a bit buggy you can clearly see how her chest is act backwards and then uh the motion her hands motion her, her, her hands motion her feet supplements that motion into a continuous and full smooth out yes yeah so basically that's on posing the character and then uh, the next bit we look at how to pose a character in terms of uh, in your advanced animator so yeah uh, the following part is just a blocking version of what i did So I just did the blocking. Do you think it's because I use the F word every so often? Could be. Who knows? Look, 
There's something wrong with her if she doesn't get what you're doing. So, uh, let's review mm -hmm. this. Let's review this pose. So you can clearly see his head. Mm. His head. His head is tilted. Legs. He's tilted like that. And then mm -hmm. his shoulder is tilted like that. And then the hand supplements that tilt. No. Mm. Yeah, no. A head is tilted like this. She's focusing on that. But her, mm -hmm. her shoulders are slightly tilted like that. And then that is this S cover X. There's that S cover. No. no. Mm. Yeah. So, so there's that S cover that goes like that. And then there's this pose here. You can see. So her head is tilted mm. like that. Her shoulder is still tilted like this, but her bottom is like that. So that that S curve comes like okay. because her motion, she's talking to him like that. And then you can see his head is is more tilted like that. The shoulder, even though they met the metam, they are still mm -hmm. tilted. So his S curve is tilted away from her. It's like she, she he can't see her, so he needs to move forward a bit so that he can see her. You know what I mean? mm. Then there's yeah. this, and then there's this here. So this one is the supplementing part eh? from the face to the body. Mm -hmm. So initially you start with the body. Her head is tilted. Her shoulders is tilted down. So uh, her head is tilted up. Shoulder. I'm doing on the extremes that you can note the pose. Eh? Mm -hmm. And then. So, uh, her face supplements that motion. You can see. Even her mm. mouth, even her mouth supplements that motion. And then her hands supplement that motion like that. You can see? Yeah. Yes. So, make sure. So, the entire S curve, mm -hmm. the entire body, the entire body looks like. Yeah. 